Prophecy, Isaiah 8 verse 8 and Fulfillment, Matthew 28 verse 20, called Emmanuel. The prophecy in Isaiah 8 verse 8 and its fulfillment in Matthew 28 verse 20 reveal a remarkable continuity in the divine plan of God and his unwavering commitment to be with his people. The name, Emmanuel, meaning, God with us, holds profound significance throughout the Bible and serves as a powerful reminder of God's constant presence, guidance, and protection in the lives of his followers. In Isaiah 8 verse 8, the prophet speaks of the impending Assyrian invasion and the threat it poses to the people of Judah. He warns of the mighty waters of the river, symbolizing the Assyrian army, which would overflow its banks and sweep over the land, causing fear and distress among the people. Amidst this turmoil, the Lord assures his people that he is with them, declaring, He will pass through Judah, he will overflow and pass over, he will reach up to the neck, and the stretching out of his wings will fill the breadth of your land, O Emmanuel. The name, Emmanuel, is pregnant with divine significance, signifying God's closeness to his people during times of trial and tribulation. It is a promise of God's abiding presence and his willingness to intervene on behalf of his faithful ones. Throughout the Old Testament, this name foreshadows the coming Messiah, who will embody God's presence in a profound and unparalleled way. The fulfillment of the prophecy is found in the Gospel of Matthew, particularly in the closing words of Jesus to his disciples. After his resurrection, Jesus appears to his disciples on a mountain in Galilee and commissions them to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He concludes his instructions with a powerful affirmation. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Matthew 28 verse 20. In this declaration, Jesus identifies himself as the fulfillment of the prophecy in Isaiah 8 verse 8. By associating himself with the name, Emmanuel, Jesus reaffirms his divinity and eternal presence with his followers. As the resurrected and victorious Savior, he promises to be with his disciples, guiding and empowering them in their mission to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. The significance of Emmanuel in Matthew 28 verse 20 reaches far beyond the historical context of the disciples. It extends to all believers throughout the ages. Jesus promised to be with his followers always, to the very end of the age, assures us of his continuous presence, guidance, and comfort in our lives. As we face the challenges of the world, just like the people of Judah faced the threat of invasion, we can take solace in knowing that we serve a God who is intimately involved in our lives, walking with us through every trial and triumph. The name, Emmanuel, encapsulates the heart of God's redemptive plan. Through Jesus Christ, God became incarnate to reconcile humanity to himself. He bore our sins, conquered death through his resurrection, and now offers the gift of eternal life to all who believe in him. This profound truth brings hope, comfort, and encouragement to believers as we navigate the complexities of life. In conclusion, the prophecy of Isaiah 8 verse 8 and its fulfillment in Matthew 28 verse 20 affirm the glorious reality of Emmanuel, God with us. This name encapsulates the essence of God's character and his desire to be present and actively involved in the lives of his people. As we meditate on this profound truth, let us take comfort in the promise of God's constant companionship, guidance, and love. May we walk in the assurance that Jesus Christ, our Emmanuel, is with us always, enabling us to live victoriously and share his life-transforming message with the world.